Good morning. My name is One Peg MG, accompanied by the very, very handsome Arnie. And uh, this is the news. There isn't a whole lot. Uh, there were some minor weekend changes, some things that I figure should at least be brought to light. Most recently, we saw a change to the value of the Mosin versus that of the SV98. Now, for those of you that don't know, historically, the Mosin Sniper, specifically, was always a little bit less expensive than its other sniper counterparts that use the same 54R ammo, specifically the SV98, which always seemed to kind of be this laggard in the race for value for cost. Then there was a little bit of a price adjustment to where we saw that if you were to trick out a Mosin with a suppressor and a scope and all of the other bells and whistles that you would want on it, it ended up being more expensive overall than that of the SV98 with the same kind of attachments. Now moving forward, we see that not only is the Mosin more expensive with all of the attachments, but now the base price is also more expensive. Now here you can see uh, very clearly that on Prapper, the Mosin Sniper is listed at 42,590 rubles, where the SV-98 is listed at 41,796. So naturally, this is a good thing. It's always historically been an issue that the Mosin being as inexpensive as it has been in the past, ended up being kind of this one trick. And there was this meta for a while of the Mosin kind of ruling all. Now it seems as though this is getting brought a bit more in line with where the pricing should be for something as powerful as this gun is. And while it still will very much reward someone that has extreme amounts of accuracy with headshots compounded with the nerfs to the rounds themselves, I think now this is a bit more in line with where the gun should be. Now, in addition to that, I just had a couple of small PSAs. It seems uh, a lot of new players, even, even some veteran folks that have been playing Tarkov for a long time, have missed out on a couple of like really small little tricks that guys like me and, and other prominent streamers tend to use on a very, very regular basis. Most specifically is stuff like examining. Now, for whatever reason, there was a set of patch notes that got missed by an awful large part of the player base. And several patches ago, we got the ability to do a quick examination using the middle mouse button. But it seems like there's an awful lot of people that don't yet realize this. So in order to be able to examine an item very quickly, all you do is hover over it, click your middle mouse, and it will examine the item. The other thing that you can use your middle mouse button for is checking the count of rounds inside of a mag. When you're in a raid, anytime that you loot a mag, or a lot of times when you end up shooting several rounds out of a mag, you suddenly will get a question mark on the magazine itself when you look at the actual tooltip for it. In order to be able to check and see how many are left, you just click the middle mouse button on it, and it will give you the count, approximately. It's a nice, fast, easy way to be able to kind of check that out. In addition to that, it wouldn't be a bad idea to modify hotkeys to be able to drop items, should you so choose. The best way to do that is to go into your control settings, simply scroll down until you see discard, and by default, it is the delete key. But for me, I use a mouse with several buttons on it, so I've bound this to a programmable mouse button that just so happens to equal the minus key on my keyboard. So this way, in case I need to discard an item quickly, I can very simply just press my thumb on the button and it discards an item. Now lastly, I just wanted to share with you a little project that I've been working on. And it's not completely ready yet, but I wanted to at least share with you where this is kind of going. My last video had to do with the market. Specifically, it had to deal with how there seemed to be a lot of price manipulation and this scaling fee system that BSG had implemented prior to having set rates for a lot of the items, especially the more valuable ones, uh, were causing some really, really high costs for a lot of people, like the red key card, for instance. It seems like now most of that has been mostly remedied, but I uh, kind of took this idea and ran with it and started developing a, a tool that I think might help people rather than kind of doing a lot of trial and error to develop the ability to visualize a bit better what kind of costs they're in for when they're looking at listing items or bartering or looking at doing flips. And basically it's just a profitability calculator 
uh, that I'm going to expand into some other functionalities. But I wanted to share this with you in hopes that, you know, maybe you guys have some ideas in terms of what kind of expanded features you'd like to see. So uh, after I show this to you, if you want to leave a comment, please feel free and uh, we'll kind of go from there. OK, so this is the uh, the calculator. Um, the way it works is you choose what kind of currency you're using. You choose either what you are selling something to the vendor for or the price that a vendor would charge you for purchasing said item. And then what this does is it actually calculates out what the base item value is. Now, the reason why I say base item value is because in Tarkov, the sale prices from the vendors and the purchase prices from the vendors are both a markup and a discount from by, by percentages from whatever that base item value actually is. And what this calculator will do is help you visualize what kind of a market fee you'd be in for. What I'd like to do with this is expand this into something that helps you calculate your profitability. So if you have 10 of one item that you are exchanging for another after the cost, you can kind of extrapolate this out and it would calculate it out. I could even do several iterations of this where you could say market transaction one leads into market transaction two into market transaction three. And then once filling it all out, it would kind of tell you at the back end what kind of uh, amount of money you'd look at earning potentially as a result of those transactions. But for now, the way this works is uh, let's say you were going to uh, buy a splint from the vendor. A splint from therapist is 2,134 rubles. And if I was going to sell that splint for, say, a million rubles, right, that means that for this, we're selecting cash as our vendor name. We're using rubles as our currency, right? And we're buying this from therapist. That means that a splint's base value in this case is 1,856 rubles. And we can check against this. So if I go to therapist and buy a splint very, very quickly for 2,134 rubles, and I take this splint and I offer this on the flea market for 1 million rubles. One, one, two, three, one, two, three. And add this. You can see that my fee here is 1,102,964. And on here, it's 1,102,731. So you can see that this isn't completely, completely accurate as of yet. It's getting very, very close. Um, but I'm trying to work out the last little hitches of the algorithm. It's within about a 1% margin of error on just about every transaction that I can find. I'm still trying to work out some kinks with currency conversions. Um, if BSG feels like kicking the algorithm my way, you know, I wouldn't say no. So there's that. Hey, Nikita, you know what I mean? <laughs> anyway, guys, that's all I got for today. Uh, today is my 97th day in a row of streaming. Uh, every day that I've done this, I have pretty much streamed just Tarkov. So uh, looking forward to day 97. I don't know when exactly I'm going to stop this streak, but we started something and it's been fun. So we're going to keep going. And uh, hopefully I will see you all on stream. Um, we're actually continuing a sellout today that is going to be an extension of Friday and Saturday because I had to get off early because my wife pulled rank, yada, yada, yada. Uh, but I will be live very, very soon for at least 10 hours today. And uh, the timer will be running and will be growing with every, uh, every sub or tip or bit or whatever. All right. All right, guys, we will see you soon. Thanks. Peace.